Mm, now let's discuss the second type of sequence which is geometric sequence. A geometric sequence is a sequence of numbers such that any two consecutive numbers in the sequence are separated by a fixed value called common ratio. Each number in the sequence is called term. So let's look at the first example of a sequence here. We have 8, negative 4, 2, negative 1. So 8, first term, negative 4, second term. 2, third term and negative 1, fourth term. Okay, sebutan pertama, sebutan kedua, sebutan ketiga, sebutan keempat. This is an example of geometric sequence with common ratio negative 1 over 2. So, how do we get negative 1 over 2? Negative 4 divide 8, negative 1 over 2. 2 divide negative 4, negative 1 over 2, negative 1 divide 2. Also negative 1 over 2. So when a sequence have common ratio, we call it as geometric sequence. Compared to arithmetic sequence, arithmetic sequence have common difference. When the difference between each term is the same. So for geometric sequence, the ratio is the same. Okay, let's look at another example. Here we have 1, 2, 4, 8. So to determine whether this is geometric or arithmetic, let's try to find whether this sequence have common ratio or common difference. Okay, 2 minus 1 is 1. 4 minus 2, 2. 8 minus 4, 4. So this sequence did not have common difference. Okay, let's try to find common ratio. 2 divide 1, 2. 4 divide 2, 2. 8 divide 4, 2. This sequence have common ratio. Therefore, this is an example of geometric sequence. Okay, the first formula in, gen gen in geometric sequence is to find the term. Okay, Tn equal a multiply r power and minus 1. Tn is the term of nth term. A first term, r common ratio, n number of term. The second formula is to find the common ratio. r equal t, n plus 1 over tn. And the last formula is to find the sum of n term. Okay. Sn equal a multiplied by r power n minus 1 over r minus 1. We will apply this formula when the value of r is more than 1. Uh, otherwise, when value of r less than 1, we will apply this formula. Sn equal a multiply 1 minus r power n over 1 minus r. Okay, how to determine whether the following sequence is a geometric sequence or not? Okay, by finding uh, the common ratio. Okay, first example, we have 1, 2, 6, 24. 2 divided by 1, 2. 6 divided 2, 3. 24 divided 6, 4. So the sequence does not have common ratio. Therefore, this is not geometric sequence. Okay, another example. Here we have 6, 18, 54. 18 divided by 6, 3. 54 divided by 18, also 3. So, since the sequence have common ratio, yes, this is a geometric sequence. Example 12, given the sequence 4, 8, 16. So, from the sequence, we can identify that 4 is the first term, so A equal 4. And then to find common ratio R, uh, 8 divided by 4 is 2, 16 divided by 8 also 2. So R equal 2. Okay, first question, we want to find the 8th term. 8th term is T8. So uh, always write down the formula, T8 equal A multiplied by R power N minus 1. Substitute A for R2 and 8. 
So, 8 minus 1, 7. 2 power 7, 128. Multiply by 4, we get 38 equal 512. And then we want to find the sum of the first 8 term. Okay, sum of the first 8 term is S8. Okay, since R equal to is larger than 1, we will apply this formula. Okay, substitute E, substitute R, substitute N. Finally, we get sum of the first 8 term equal 1020. Example 13, the first term and the fifth term of a geometric progression are 3 and 48. So, first term A equal 3, fifth term T5 equal 48. We want to find the common ratio. So, here we can use the information that we have which is T5 equal 48. Substitute all the relevant information. Okay, T5, 48, A3, uh, we do not know the value for R yet, and 4, so 43, A48 divided by 3 is 16, equal R power 4, okay, R power 4, move to the other side, mm, and then we get uh, R equal 2, and then by using the same information, A equal 3 and R equal 2, we can we want to find the sum of the first 10 term which is S10. And because R equal to larger than 1, we will apply this formula. And then we get S10 equal 3069. Example 14. The third term of a geometric progression is 360. Third term. So T3 equal 360. And the sixth term is 1215. Sixth term is T6 equal 1 to 1, 5. We want to find the first term which is A and the common reach ratio which is R. So from the first information, T3, we can use the formula to find term. Substitute T3, 360. Okay, we do not know the value for A and R. And 3. So 3 minus 1, 2. And then use the second information, T6. Uh, use the formula to find term. We get the second equation. And then because we have two equations, we can do simultaneous equation. I either do elimination method or substitution method. So here I use substitution method. From the first equation, Okay, we take A equal 360 over R square and then we can substitute this into the second equation. Okay, we get like this. R power 5 divided by R square. So, it equal to R power 5 minus 2. We get R power 3. Move 360 to the other side. So, 1 to 1, 5 divided by 360. We get 26 over 8. Okay, uh, move Power 3 to the other side. Uh, cubic root. So, punca kuasa 3 of 27 over 8 is 3 over 2. Okay, when we have R, we can use the earlier equation to get A. Substitute and we get A equal to 160. Example 15. Given the sequence 6, 12, 24, 3072. So from the sequence, we know that 6 is the first term. So A equals 6. To find R, comma ratio, 12 divided by 6, 2. 24 divided by 12 also, 2. So R equals 2. And then 3072 is the last term of this sequence. So if we can see here, I made a mistake. Okay, do not repeat the same mistake as me. 3072 is not sum. Is term. Okay, the last term. So, TN. Okay, calculate the number of terms in the sequence. Okay, we want to find N because we know that 3072 is the last term but we do not know which term. Okay, kita tak tahu dia term yang keberapa. Kita nak cari nilai N which is the number of term.
So by using this formula, we substitute TN 3072 A6 R2. Okay, and kita nak cari. Move 6 to the other side. Okay, and then 3072 divided by 6 is 512. Mm, we can use log. Okay, and then bring power N minus 1 to the front. Okay, like this. And then leave N minus 1 here. Move log 2 to the other side. So it become, became divide. Okay, log 5, 1, 2. Divide by log 2. Okay, be sure to divide. Okay, do not use fraction. Okay, log 5, 1, 2. Divide log 2. You get 9. And finally, N equal to 10. Given the sequence 1000, 1100, uh, 1210, 1231, what type of sequence is this? Okay, to determine whether the given sequence is arithmetic or geometric, so we need to find whether the sequence have common difference or common ratio. So let's try to find common ratio first. 1100 divided by 1000 is equal to 1.1. And 1,210 divided by 1,100 is also equal to 1.1. Okay. Since the sequence have common ratio, this is geometric sequence. Example 19. The operating expenses of a company increase by 1%. Increase by 1% meaning that the previous... Uh, the previous month or the previous year, uh, they already achieved a hundred percent. Then increase by one percent is actually one hundred and one percent. One hundred and one percent is equal to one point zero one. Okay, the operating expenses of a company increase by one percent. Increase by one percent is one hundred one percent. So one point zero one each month from the previous month. If the operating expenses for the first month were 20,000. Okay, first month, 20,000. This is the first term. So, A equal 20,000. We want to calculate the operating expenses for the fifth month. Okay, operating expenses for the fifth month is T5. And the total operating expenses for the first six months. Total operating expenses is the sum. Okay, sum, we must use the sum formula. And because R equal 1.01 .01 is more than 1, we apply this formula. Okay, we get T5 equal this and S6 equal this. Example 20. The fourth term of a geometric progression exceeds the third term by 54. So, term yang keempat melebihi term yang ketiga sebanyak 54. So, from this sentence, we can write down T4 minus T3 equal 54. And the sum of the second and third term is 36. So, hasil tambah term kedua dan term ketiga ialah 36. Okay, from this sentence, we can write down T2 plus T3 equal 36. Find the common ratio if it is positive. Kita nak cari R jika R positive. So, from the first information, we can substitute the formula. T4 AR cube, T3 AR square equal 54. And then we can factorize AR. In bracket, we are left with R square minus R. And then leave AR. And then move everything to the other side. Therefore, we get AR equal 54 over R square minus R. And then from the second information, okay, the sum of the second and third term is 36. Substitute uh, T2 as AR power 1, T3 as AR square. So again, factorize AR, we are left with 1 plus R in the bracket. Move 1 plus R to the other side, we get AR equal to 36 over 1 plus R. So we have the same equation here, AR and AR. Okay, kita boleh buat persamaan. Kemudian, uh, cross multiply. Darab silang. 
Okay, we get a quadratic equation. So here, to find R, we can do factorization. Uh, either you use calculator or you can factorize manually. Uh, either way, we will still get the same answer. R equal 3. Okay, and the final example, example 21. If x plus 3, x plus 8, x plus 18 are the third, fourth and fifth term. So t3 equal x plus 3, t4 x plus 8 and t5 equal x plus 18. Respectively of a geometric sequence, find x. Okay, geometric sequence, we know geometric sequence have common ratio. So t4 over t3 should equal to t5 over T4 because geometric sequence have common ratio. Okay, and then we can substitute T4 over T3, T5 over T4. Do cross multiply. Okay, kita darat silang. Expand. After expand, do some simplification. And then after that, we get X equal to 2.